AP Election Brief. What to expect in Utah's special congressional. Washington, AP, three Republicans will compete in a special primary election in Utah next week for their party's nomination to replace U.S. Representative Chris Stewart, the six-term GOP lawmaker who will step down on September 15. Time equals 400 Ms. greater than vying for the nomination on Tuesday are former state representative Becky Edwards, businessman and former state party chairman Bruce Huff, and attorney and former steward aide Celeste Malloy. Delegates at the party's special district convention in June preferred Malloy over Edwards, Huff and others, but Edwards and Huff both collected enough signatures to qualify for the ballot and force a vote in Tuesday's special primary. Huff is the father of professional dancers Julianne and Derek Huff from the reality competition show, Dancing with the Stars. Edwards has led the field in fundraising, bringing in $379,000 in contributions while loaning herself an additional $300,000 from personal funds. Malloy outraised Huff in contributions, but Huff loaned his campaign more than $334,000. Edwards more than doubled both Malloy's and Huff's spending power heading into the final three weeks of the campaign. Malloy and Huff debated in early August, showing relatively little daylight between them on key issues. Edwards skipped the event. Tuesday's winner will face Democrat Kathleen Reeb in a special general election on November 21. Reeb won her party's nomination at a district convention in June. The state's congressional district boundaries face an ongoing court challenge, but the second congressional district, which has been reliably Republican, covers much of the same area in western and southwest Utah as it has since before Stewart took office. Stewart won five of his six elections with at least 59 percent of the vote. File, Bruce Huff and Celeste Malloy shake hands before the start of a second congressional district Republican primary debate for outgoing. Representative Chris Stewart's seat, Friday, August 4, 2023, in Farmington, Utah. AP photo, Rick Bomer. File, here's a look at what to expect on election night. Utah will hold a special primary on Tuesday. Polls close at 8 p.m. local time, MT, which is 10 p.m. Eastern time. Time equals 400 ms. greater than the Associated Press will provide coverage of the Republican special primary in Utah's 2nd Congressional District. The winner will advance to the special general election on November 21st and face Reeve. Also on Tuesday's ballots are municipal primaries throughout the state, the special congressional primary is limited to registered Republicans, Democrats, independents and members of third parties may not participate. Special primary elections tend to have lower voter turnout compared to those of regularly scheduled elections. In a particularly close three-way contest, the margin between the first and third place candidates may be a relatively small number of votes. This may slow the race calling process as a handful of absentee, provisional or other untallied ballots could play a decisive role in determining the result. The AP does not make projections and will declare a winner only when it's determined there is no scenario that would allow the trailing candidates to close the gap. If a race has not been called, the AP will continue to cover any newsworthy developments, such as candidate concessions or declarations of victory. In doing so, the AP will make clear that it has not yet declared a winner and explain why. There is no mandatory or automatic recount provision in Utah, but a losing candidate may request a recount if the vote margin is 0.25 percentage points or less. In elections with fewer than 400 total votes cast, not applicable to Tuesday's contest, recounts may be requested if the winning margin is one vote. The AP may declare a winner in a race that is eligible for a recount if it can determine the lead is too large for a recount or legal challenge to change the outcome. Time equals 400 ms. greater than as of Monday there were almost 1.7 million active voters registered in Utah, according to state records. Of those, about 879,000 are Republicans, 53%, 232,000 are Democrats, 14%, 469,000 are independent or unaffiliated, 28%, and the remaining, 6%, belong to various third parties. Turnout for the 2022 GOP primary for U.S. Senate was 22%. In the 2020, presidential primaries, voter turnout was 20% for Republicans and 13% for Democrats. Elections in Utah are conducted predominantly by mail, although voters have the option of voting in person on Election Day. Mail ballots may be received by September 19 but must be postmarked by Tuesday, as of Thursday, a total of 50,419 votes had been cast before Election Day, mostly from Republicans, 87%, 
with the balance from Democrats, 5%, and independents and members of third parties, 8%. In the 2022 general election in the 2nd Congressional District, the AP first reported results at 10.37 p.m. Eastern Time, or 37 minutes after polls close. The election night tabulation ended at 4.07 a.m. Eastern Time with about 71% of the total votes counted. File Former state lawmaker and Utah U.S. Senate candidate Becky Edwards speaks during a Republican primary debate on June 1, 2022, in Draper, Utah. Three Republicans will compete in a special primary election in Utah on Tuesday for their parties. Nomination to replace U.S. Representative Chris Stewart. Vying for the nomination are Edwards, businessman and former state party chairman Bruce Huff, and Celeste Malloy, an attorney and former aide to Stewart in Washington. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, File, File, Bruce Huff speaks during the second Congressional District Republican primary debate for outgoing Representative Chris Stewart's seat, Friday, August 4, 2023, in Farmington, Utah. AP Photo, Rick Bomer, File, Celeste Malloy speaks during the second Congressional District Republican primary debate for outgoing Representative Chris Stewart's seat, Friday, August 4, 2023, in Farmington, Utah. AP Photo, Rick Bomer.